Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Michelle with Creative Operation and Country Craft Creations. I have a design team project for you, and I'm going to be using last year's Halloween paper that I absolutely loved called Bewitching Hour. And this is a really cute paper collection that we're going to use today to create our project. And I, the project I'm gonna to make today is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, you know, this is not my idea, but it's it's really neat. And if you guys are into, um, you know, making decor pieces, this is gonna be like the perfect project for you. So let me get started by showing you what we're going to be making today. And then let's make it. So these are called lenticular pictures and they're, I'm gonna kind of stand up so you can see. So I had these, these papers are from my stash and they don't look like much when you look at them straight, but when you turn them, ah, oh, look at that. There's a picture and there's a picture and I just love how this does. So these are like, you know, the scary pictures that you see in the Halloween stores where you pass them by and they look normal and then you, turn them and then they you know are not normal <laughs> and I have been wanting to learn how to do this and so I kind of came up with a way to do this this one was kind of fun too again pictures from my stash but if you turn it this way you have the image in color but if you turn it this way it's in black and white so I thought it was kind of fun um we're gonna learn how to make these today I did create trays to put them in so frames um, made out of the cardstock and we're going to um, learn how to do this now the one thing that we have to think about here is um, like this picture here the total width of the inside of the frame is six and a half by six so when you use your papers there's a couple things we need to remember so you need to have picture paper that actually has a picture on it you know so something that when you when you see it you'll you'll see the picture but also um if you i cut these at six by six but once you put them all together in these um in these pieces it makes it a little bit wider so we have to make a little bit wider base for it um this one here was a little bit smaller I actually took one of the um, pieces out and it was um, five and three quarters by five and a quarter so I did a smaller um, frame for this um, but basically we're I'm going to show you how to create the frame for it we're going to do a picture we're going to do it with six by six so it's going to be more this size okay so the total size for this is seven and a half by seven and it's a half inch deep so um this one here i just added corners punched from a punch that i have um and then i did a ribbon behind it and i put um, pattern paper and whatnot on the back and i used some more of the paper collection back here i did use silver mirror and artisan cardstock from country craft creations on this um on this one here um I used, you know, black artisan cardstock on this. I used corners that I had um, in my stash, and then um, I just put pattern paper back here and put the um, the seam binding from Country Craft Creations back there so that you can hang it up. So when you walk by, you're gonna get the two different picture things. So I just think this is really fun, and I wanted to share this with you. So let's get started so first off we're using bewitching hour and i chose these two pictures and i chose these two pictures not only because they have a picture to them it's not just a design but they're also different so this one is ma a majority of purple and this one's a majority of white so you're really going to see the difference in the contrast in that so you're going to need a few pieces of paper so let's go ahead and get started first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the um frame so with the frame, let's put these pictures to the side for just a second. Um, with the frame, we're gonna need a few pieces of paper. So we are going to need a piece of paper that's seven and a half by seven. You will need two pieces that are two and a half by seven and a half and two pieces that are two and a half by seven. These are going to create, you know, the frame piece so let's go ahead and get started with this this is super um, easy to do so I'm going to grab my scoreboard 
on all of these smaller frame pieces, what we're going to do is score them at every half inch. Okay. A couple of them we're going to cut. A couple of them we are going to leave whole as far as not cutting any more off. Um, it'll make sense here in just a second. So we're just taking these, each of them, putting them at the two and a half inch mark at the top and scoring at every half inch. Okay, using artisan cardstock in black. Then what you're gonna do, oh, you know what? We need our scoreboard back because you're gonna take two, and I'm gonna just go ahead and um, choose the two top ones. So these will be the seven and a half. And you're gonna put them back in your scoreboard after you score, and you're gonna put them in with the seven and a half at the top. And you're going to score on the half inch mark, but only through the top two scores, okay? Just through the top two, okay? Hope you can see that. So again, put seven and a half at the top. Now they have, you can do this on the seven as well, you know, the other two, but you only do it on two of them and make sure that they're the same ones, okay? So we do that. All right, now let's get rid of our scoreboard. And we're gonna grab our scissors, we're gonna do a little cutting. So on the ones that we scored, we did that extra little half inch score. First thing you're gonna do is on the opposite half inch, we're gonna miter our corners. Whoop. I'm gonna drop it too. And then what you're gonna do is go to the middle half inch score here. So you have your little squares here that we created with that score. You're going to cut a diagonal and I'm just gonna eyeball this right like that. Okay, so we're gonna skip, we're gonna miter this one, skip this one, we're gonna cut this one clear through to that score line, and then we're gonna cut that score line completely out. Okay, just like that. So we're gonna go to the opposite side and do the same thing. So I'm gonna cut up, whichever way is easier for you, cut that straight up. So those two little half inch tabs are gonna go away and then we're going to cut it completely at the diagonal and then you have a miter. So we're gonna do, we're gonna have two pieces that are gonna look like that, okay? Where's my other piece here? So again, we're gonna miter and I'm going to cut the diagonal, cut that completely out, go to the opposite side. I'll cut straight up here to that score, cut the diagonal and then miter that one. Okay, on these, we're just going to miter one side only. That's it. Doesn't matter which end, they're all the same scores. Okay, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue these to our base, okay? So we're going to fold and burnish all of our scores. go here. This is Black Artisan cardstock. It is available at Country Craft Creations. And Bewitching Hour, I did just double check. And it is available in 8x8 and in 12x12. Um, 12 12. Now, in the I had the 12x12 12 12 pack, and in that pack, some of the designs for the witches are actually in 6x6, so I just cut that out. This one was a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I had to trim off the edges to get the middle pumpkins out of it. So just be aware of that. 
Um, if you get the eight by eight, then you probably, you know, will only have to trim around the um, edges. Um, again, though, you need to have actual like pictures to make this work. You can use photographs for this. This can be altered to pretty much any size you want. Um, if you're going to do a different size picture though, I would highly recommend that once we get to the actual making of the, the pieces that you're gonna put your um, pieces, your strips on, um, you make that first and then build your frame around that. Okay, I hope that will make sense in a minute. Okay, so you have all of our, blah, I can't talk today. You have all our pieces done. So we're just going to glue them down. So all of the pieces that are mitered, we're going to glue to the back of our frame. And that will give us a nice rounded edge on the outside of our frame. So I'm just gonna put glue here and then I'm gonna just line up my base piece for my frame here. And glue it down okay so that will be on the back of the frame and then I'm just gonna go around and repeat just make sure you put the seven on the seven inch side and the seven and a half on the seven and a half inch side okay line that up don't get them in the scores okay like so, wipe up our excess glue, going around, tab for this side. I've used these frames before in several projects. They're really fun to do. And they make a nice 3D frame, which is awesome. And it holds this project just perfectly. And you can decorate it to your heart's content. Which is pretty neat. All right, there's that. Last but not least, our last frame piece here. Put our glue on. Okay, now don't worry about the back. We're gonna actually cover that up because we're also going to use the back as how we add our seam binding hanger so that we can hang this on the wall. Um, these are going to roll up. We're gonna do the sides without all the special cuts first. And these are gonna roll up and create the sides. And then what these are gonna do is they're gonna roll up and go over the top and create a mitered edge. So, this we're gonna fold, okay? We're gonna put glue on this last half inch piece. And then we're gonna fold it over, burnish it down, and then lift it up and you will have your nice little tube created there okay it's floppy now won't be floppy in a minute we're going to do that again on the opposite side so you do the straight sides first and then the whole cut mitered piece will go over the top those are a little more tricky to do but they are you can do them you just have to take your time okay we're going to fold that over i'm going to burnish that down make sure everything's nice and then pop that up and you have your tubes okay so we should have our tubes on both sides and then we're going to glue this guy down here so we're going to kind of dry fit it just to get a feel that's what i like to do and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and lift that up and keep keep that there i'm going to put a pop of glue in the corner of each side and then i'm going to put some glue here And then I'm going to try and fold that over again. Right down over the corners. And I'm going to eyeball this, make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. We're just going to hold that for a second. 
I'll make sure that everything gets glued down. Now you can see this is already getting more sturdy. Okay. There we go. Just kind of hold those corners in. Make sure everything's nice and square. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So I'm just going to kind of fit this in. Okay. So it's going to go like that. Pop a glue. that looks nice and square I want it to be square and I'm gonna hold that down just for a second wipe up any excess glue now you can create an extra frame piece that goes over you know the edge of this I used corner pieces on my practice um, pieces which I thought were fun um, however you want to do that. So we're going to just take this and set it off to the side and make sure that it is dry. Now, um, we are going to cut a base for our pictures. And the pieces that the pictures glue on will glue onto this base. And this base will just drop right into the frame. So it's going to give another extra layer of strength. But the triangle pieces that we're going to make are going to um, work just fine. So for a six by six picture you will need a base that is six and a half by six this will get a little bit wider than six so that's why it's six and a half but it will stay six inches tall okay and that'll pop right in there but we're not going to pop it in yet we're going to set this off to the side and we're going to talk about excuse me making these pieces here so for this particular project, we will need a bunch of these. You will need 12 that are two by six. All right, so with your two at the top, six down here, we're gonna score every half inch. All right, and then what we're gonna do to make these, and again, you will need to make 12. So this is a good project to make if you're like watching a TV show, you know, because there's a lot of little fiddly pieces, but that's okay. It makes a cool project. Okay, so you're going to score every half inch and burnish. And then what you're going to do is you're going to glue it into a triangle shape. Okay, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and add our glue. and hold that down let our glue set i just kind of set it down on my desk and um you can get something like um let's see that won't work maybe a pencil or a pen or something like that that it has to be skinny though and put it in there if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to because it does glue down pretty good. So we'll need to make 12 of these guys, okay? I'll do the rest off camera, but that's basically how you do it. Then let's talk about our pictures here. So we're going to need to cut our pictures. Now, you probably already guessed that we're going to cut them in half-inch strips, okay? The important thing to do is make sure that when you cut these that you keep them in order and then that you keep them in order for when you put these together okay so you're just going to put them in your cutter and literally cut a half inch and then when i did it i took that half inch piece and i set it up there and i made sure that when i cut my next half inch piece that I took it and set it right next to it. So I kept everything in order. It's a very important or this picture will not work. Okay, 
So we have to make sure that you do that, okay? Um, so you're gonna do that with both of your pictures. Now, I did not ink anything. And the reason why is I did not want to make anything look, um, you know, separate. Um, I wanted to keep the integrity of the picture. So I did not ink the edges of these. Because otherwise, when you look at the picture, you're going to have a bunch of brown lines running through your project. And you don't want that. So um, don't resist the urge. For those of you who love to ink, resist that urge. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm just going to finish cutting all of my pieces. And I will finish scoring and making the triangles. And then when I get done, I will be back. And then I will show you how we're putting this together. Okay. So again, we're just cutting, cutting, cutting. You should have 12 half inch pieces when, when you are done. Okay. Can you see that up there? And we've got them all in order. So I want to make sure to keep them that way. Okay. So I will finish this up and then I will be back in a little bit and we'll finish the project. All right, I've cut both my pictures into half inch strips and then I've made all of my little triangle shaped tubes. So basically, all that we're going to do is we're gonna grab the first one from each picture and it doesn't matter you know, which picture you use first. And you're, you're basically going to, and again, this is gonna be a little tedious, but we're going to glue them down onto our little tubes here. And, you know, they're going to go all the way across one whole entire side, okay? So you grab the first one for this picture, then you grab the first one from this picture, add your glue, and we'll just repeat. This is, believe it or not, easier to do when the triangles are made than trying to do them and then doing the triangles because they're this, you know, the same width and you want them not to be bent or folded or anything like that. So, um, I do recommend doing it. I've, you know, obviously made a few, um, doing it like this. Okay. So we have our first one again, keep them in order when you do them. Okay. So then grab your, your second piece. I'm making sure like the folded edges at the bottom and just make sure that, you know, whatever page you start with or picture you start with for the left side, you keep that on the left side. Okay. Um, so basically that's what you're going to do is continue on doing that. Okay. So I got that one, grab the next strip and making sure all your orientations are right and you got this right. And art glitter glue is awesome and wonderful and it will, you know, catch quick but also gives you a little wiggle room so you can, you know, move it around if you need to. All right. All right. So number two. So you can see that we're still in, you know, continuity with our pictures. Okay. So keep them in in the right order, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna finish all of the rest of these, all 10 of these, you don't need to watch that part. And then I will come back and I'll show you how to put it all together. The little pieces are finished now. So I have all of the pieces in the proper order. They're all papered on both sides with the half inch strips, okay? So now all we have to do is put them on the base so that we could stick them in the frame. Okay, so I'm gonna just move these up and I'm gonna grab my scoreboard here. Okay, I'm being careful. I don't wanna move them off and I wanna make sure that we're in frame as well. And we're not. 
So let me see if I can move this over this way. I'll move them over this way. Keeping them in order. All right. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay. So I'm going to put my scoreboard sideways because I'm going to use this edge and this edge to kind of help square things up. Okay. So again, this is a piece that's six and a half wide, six tall. Okay. And you're just going to grab your first little triangle piece. We're going to add glue. And we're going to lay it down on our base. And I'm just using the sides here just to make sure that everything is lined up at the edge. And I'm just gonna hold that down, okay? And glue that on there, okay? So that's just gonna create a base and it's just gonna be a lot easier for us to stick it in the frame and add a little bit more security to that, okay? So then I'm just gonna grab the second piece. I'm gonna add glue to the bottom. And I'm always checking to make sure that, you know, I've got them in order and I'm just laying that beside it, okay, and laying it down. Now you'll notice that these are a little bit wider than a half an inch when you lay them down because of the, way, the nature of the cardstock and all that. That's why this base piece has to be six and a half inches. Um, so that is actually the way it's supposed to be and it will work, trust me. And then I'm just gonna lay my next piece down. Okay, just right next to it, trying to make sure everything stays square and so on. So I'm gonna keep doing this and then I will be back in just a minute and I will show you how we put it in our frame. I have all my pieces laid down on my base and now all we have to do is put them in the actual base itself so I'm just going to add glue in here and I'm going to put it on fairly thick and because I really want to make sure that this doesn't pop up Okay, and then I'm just going to lay this down in here and squidge it in there and then hold it down. Okay. So I'm just gonna hold that down in there, make sure that all my pieces are in. You may have to fuss with it just a little bit. Dry fit it before you glue it in, you know, just to make sure that everything lays down properly. All right, and then you may, because of the squishing, have to go through and kind of reshape your pyramids here. Okay. We'll just let that sit just a second and then you should have your picture. So let me get up here and are you ready for this? Is that cool or what? I just think that's so cool. So then to finish your picture, all you need to do is I'm going to grab my seam binding here and I'm going to make a hanger. So I'm going to go on the back and I'm going to grab some score tape here. And I went in, I don't know, about an inch. So I'm just going to put this at about, oops, excuse me, about an inch there. And my tummy's growling. I'm gonna have to eat after I film this. <laughs> so. Like that.
And I'm gonna put it down quite a bit just because I wanna make sure that it, um, you know, doesn't pull out or anything like that. It shouldn't, it's not super heavy. Okay, and then we have our base, or the back, excuse me, of our photo frame here. And this piece is going to be seven and three eighths by six and seven eighths. And we're just gonna glue that down on the back just to finish it and to secure our seam binding. That'll kind of cover up all those edges from the frame itself. And you can decorate the back if you want to. You don't have to. I mean, it's the back. Probably nobody's going to see it. But if you were going to give it as a gift, you could totally make this into a place where you could, you know, write a sentiment or whatever. And, you know, there you go. So you have your picture here. And then I'm going to just um, cut this in half, maybe. No, maybe I'll just do this. I just whack some of that off and then tie a cute little bow. And then you have a nice little hanger for your picture. If I can get my fingers to work. I cut off too much, I think. Ay, ay, ay. And it's floppy. There we go. There we go. I didn't. Okay. And then you can hang it and admire it on your wall. So I hope that you enjoyed this project. I'm going to finish it with some corners. I need to find some because I think I've used all my corners up. So I need to figure something out. Um, but this is a really cute project, excuse me, um, which is really fun for Halloween because it's, you know, changes your, your picture here. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you today. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. Happy Halloween. Stay scary. And I will see you again soon with another fun tutorial. Have fun with this one. I just think these are so much fun to make. Can you see this? This is so cool. I love it. I just have to keep showing you. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.